Hi, this is David McCam for WebTNG. In this video, I'm taking a look at the block template library called Blogging Blocks. Blogging Blocks are not a standalone block collection, but are instead pre-designed block patterns, or templates, created using the Free Cadence theme and WordPress core. Start Blogging 101, the company behind Blogging Blocks, uses Cadence Cloud to manage the library and provide access. Cadence Cloud significantly lowers the bar and makes it easier for designers to share and even sell access to their designs. Today there are a growing number of small business designers serving the Cadence community by selling their pre-designed block templates using Cadence Cloud. If you like the video, please subscribe. It helps to spread the word about the channel. Before page builders, the main way that people brought a design to their website was by buying a theme. Here we are on CSS Igniter, theme shop that still has a lot of niche themes. And if we go and look at the themes, here you see they have blog magazine, events, food, hotel, health and beauty, local business, photography, travel, and so on. So in the old days, if you wanted to create a website for a doctor, you would buy a theme that was designed for medical professionals. Then page builders came along and eventually general purpose page builder friendly themes. At that point, you were no longer buying niche themes. Instead, you were creating the design using your page builder. And if we look at some popular page builders, like here's an Elementor site, Instead of buying a pre-designed theme, you were using the templates that come with your page builder. So for example, here are a bunch of pages that come with Elementor and a bunch of blocks that come with Elementor. Along the same lines, here's a Brizzy website and here are a bunch of blocks that they offer, pre-designed templates and a bunch of layouts or full pages. So with page builders, you got your design through templates. Now Gutenberg started off as a content editor, but as it's moved to be more and more of a page builder, now templates have become very popular for Gutenberg as well. And since we're gonna be talking about Cadence, here, for example, is the Cadence Design Library. So you see a bunch of pre-designed sections, starter packs, and wireframes. Okay. WordPress blocks are the basic building blocks that you use in the Gutenberg editor. There are many different types of blocks from the simple paragraph to enhanced multimedia blocks. And core Gutenberg blocks come with some layout and design options. Third-party block collections like Cadence blocks add specialty blocks with enhanced and more complex features as well as many more layout and design options. A block pattern is a collection of blocks that are arranged in style for particular purposes. A powerful feature of block patterns is that they can be saved, reused, and shared. In other contexts, similar pre-designed elements are called templates, but yes, block pattern is the Gutenberg term for templates that were created using the Gutenberg editor. So let's talk some about what I call the Cadence Advantage and about Cadence Cloud. If we go into the customizer, and we click on colors, you'll see that there is a global color palette here. And if we go into Gutenberg and we go look at the block options, you'll notice that the color palette from the theme is synced with Gutenberg. Okay, so if we go back to the customizer and we change these colors. Notice they change right away. And if we go back into Gutenberg and we refresh, they've changed here as well. Now, you might think that's common sense and that all themes and block collections should work that way. 
but surprisingly many don't. And let me show you a practical example or use case for this is when you go into the design library, like here you see, okay, there's this kind of tan and yellow theme here. If you import this home page, See, we have the kind of light gray blue and the red and orange from our customizer choices. When it comes to working with templates, the template designers can pay attention to the colors and topography. And then when their templates are imported, they'll take on the styles of the site automatically. Okay, and this is what I call the cadence advantage. Okay, now the second kind of cool thing here is that about a year and a half ago, Cadence launched Cadence Cloud. And this is a premium plugin. This allows you to host and manage access to and create your own design library online. And then you can give or even sell access to your designs. This is the plugin page for Cadence Cloud. There's some how-to videos here. But you can see you can buy it standalone or you can buy it in the bundle. And it also comes in the lifetime bundle. And if you go down and look here, there are instructions about how to set up your cloud. And you can generate access keys that you can give to others or even sell to allow them to access your cloud. And if we go into a web page here and we look at the design library we'll see that there's this option here cloud connect and you can enter the url and the access key to connect to another cloud library and be able to import the templates or block patterns from that other library okay so this is the cadence library but agencies and freelancers and designers can create their own now this is great for agencies and freelancers because they can create a cloud library and that makes it much easier to access them as they're building on other sites. Also then we have in the Cadence community a growing number of designers who are putting their designs into a cloud library and selling access to those within the Cadence community. So there are a number of designers that are creating a design business using Cadence Cloud. For example, here's Brandon Build, Michelle Noonan's website, where she sells Divi and Cadence child themes. She also has a BNB Blocks membership where she has a large block library of pre-designed stylish blocks that she's created and she sells to the Cadence community. Iconic Templates is a project of Maestro Stevens. He has a block collection also. He has a free library. And he has a pro premium library. Then Lauren Dierska of Restore 316 Designs, another designer who is selling child themes and also block collections. She has theme block collections, conversion callouts, funnel bundles, shop page templates, and also has some blocks in her free library. So you can see these are very attractive also. Canny Dev is a design team from Scotland. They are working on a premium library and currently have a free collection available. And then Jake Pohl of Start Blogging 101 also offers a block collection. He has free and premium blocks called Blogging Blocks. 
calls these wireframe block templates, more than 195 pre-designed cadence block templates built for affiliate bloggers that will turn your site into a selling machine. Okay. He has information here how to set up and connect to the free collection. And then he also has a pro collection available for annual and lifetime. And his blocks are divided into two sets. There are blocks focused for affiliate and marketing. And then there are blocks for building pages. Jake gave me access to his blogging block library, which is also using Cadence Cloud. So let's go to my testing site and let's step through the process of connecting just to see how easy it is and take a look at some of his blocks. Okay, so let's clear out this page. And I'm going to update that. So we'll use this page and we'll come here and we'll connect our library. So I'm going to enter the URL and I'll pause the video while I do that. Okay, and then comes back and says SB blocks. And notice here now there is a new tab for start blogging blocks. Blogging blocks are frequently getting updates and have additions. And when there are additions, then we don't have to install a new plugin or anything. We can just hit the sync with cloud button and it'll pull down all the changes and all the new blocks. You can see here that there are several categories. There's free and pro, and then there's, for example, alert. And when you do that, you see there are some free, and I think that's true in pretty much all of the categories. There are some simple ones in the free library and some more stylish ones in the pro version. Okay, if we just kind of look through the list, so we have these alerts, we have some pricing tables, we have some product boxes, some of these have star ratings and features. We have some grid with feature lists, some more pricing grids. We have some FAQs. We have some split image with text, kind of hero boxes. We have some forms. We have some content boxes. And then here we have a link tree style list of buttons. There are a few of those. So those are attractive. Here's some author boxes, resources I use. Here are some buttons. Here are some call to action, join the community. All right, so quite a few different types of blocks there. Let's try adding some in. Let's add this pro alert box. Okay, and this is attractive. And you could make this yourself, but for example, see it has this kind of stylish fold over ribbon badge on it. These are made using Cadence blocks. You see the author has added some custom code here, some CSS for the special effects. So a lot of the blocks have things like that in them. Let's add a few more. Here's a pro and con comparison. Here's a product box. And notice how the button is kind of that salmon colored here. But when we bring it in, it picks up what we have for the theme color. For, for example, see here's the theme colors. Okay, so it automatically made that switch for us. Let's look at some more. Let's look at a hero block. This one has a contact form. some CTA. Here you have an explainer video with your uh, main points. And here's like those author boxes, resources I use, the buttons. Let's bring these in, 3D buttons. And you can see you get that kind of push effect. Again, you can create this yourself if you have the skill and have the time to do that. 
But you know, it's kind of cool and attractive. And there are new blocks being added all the time. Let's add one of these footers. All right, that's kind of a look at these. You can see how this would speed up creating your content pages. Now let's end with some discussion and conclusions. We discussed the history of getting access to designs for WordPress sites, which started out with niche themes and then moved to page builder template libraries. There are design libraries appearing for use in the Gutenberg editor now also. Users like design libraries because they are a fast and convenient way to add styled elements to the site. Templates created using blocks are called block patterns. The cadence theme and cadence blocks combination has the nice feature of keeping your color and topography choices synced between the theme customizer and Gutenberg. When you use block patterns and templates from the cadence design library, the cadence advantage means that imported elements can adapt to your site and that helps maintain design consistency. The introduction of Cadence Cloud gives designers access to the design library within the WordPress editor without needing to program their own platform, transport mechanism, and plugin. Users just need to have the free Cadence Blocks plugin installed. Cadence Cloud makes it easier to share pre-designed elements across sites and even to start a business and sell access to design libraries. There are a number of designers successfully doing this. We took a look at blogging blocks from Start Blogging 101. This collection has a large number of block patterns available, mainly targeting marketing and general website usage. Blogging blocks have bold and attractive designs, and new items are regularly added. Blogging blocks, the other designers offering block templates, and even Cadence Cloud itself are good examples of creativity and innovation in the WordPress ecosystem. So that's my look at blogging blocks and at innovation in the Cadence community of designers using Cadence Cloud. A text summary of the video is available on the WebTNG website, along with other walkthroughs, reviews, and resources. Hope you found the video interesting. Thank you for watching.